Sure, we could do a generic taco. Yeah, why not? That's fine. But why do that when you can make one of the greatest meats for tacos of all time? And at home, obviously. All right, so listen up. Kiddos. This isn't just some normal video. I'm ecstatic to announce that I have officially partnered with Samsung, and this video is the very first episode of our mini-series, Big Screen and Barbecue, where we'll be screening our favorite TV shows and movies on their all-new outdoor TV, The Terrace. We're gonna be getting out of the kitchen and start grilling. If you think about it, watching movies and cooking is kind of like a wine pairing, but like a TV is not like a beverage that makes you feel funny. <laughs> so now that it's warmer, I've been barbecuing and cooking outdoors a little more, and this TV has completely revolutionized that without sacrificing anything. You don't need to replace it every year. It can handle the harsh outdoors and the quality of the picture actually genuinely shocked me when I first saw it. And I'm, I'm not, I'm no tech guy, all right? I'm, I'm just speaking from something in between the head and the heart, I guess the mouth. Now with all that said, let's do this, shall we? Now to make your El Pastor meat, you need to start with a marinade. Now we're not using any chili powder here, all right? We're big boy chefs. I want you to start with four dried ancho chilies and five dried guajillo chilies, both of which you should seed unless you want it a little spicier. Place them in a heat proof bowl and cover with boiling water. And when I say boiling, I mean, well, boiling. We're not making some sort of calming tea. You need to let them sit until they get nice and soft so they're terrible. Like you can tear them, I mean. English was not on my side there, or well, uh, maybe I just, yeah, okay, I don't know how to speak English, all right. So in a blender, you're gonna combine three quarters of a cup or 180 milliliters of white vinegar, one cup or 240 milliliters of pineapple juice, three and a half tablespoons or 65 grams of achiote paste, 10 cloves of garlic. Yeah, I don't know why I did it like this because now it's splashing all over my face, but you know, maybe start with dry next time. Two tablespoons or 28 grams of brown sugar, two teaspoons or five grams of ground cumin. Whew, okay. <clears throat> two teaspoons or five grams of ground cinnamon, and three tablespoons or 30 grams of kosher salt. Add your soaked chilies, then just blend that until you get a smooth yet viscous red marinade. Next, you're gonna take a four to five pound boneless pork shoulder. This is a Boston butt. Then just slice that bad boy into half inch or one and a quarter centimeter slices. The whole darn thing. I want little slices all over the place. Place it in a bowl, pour over your marinade. Make sure to get this nice and tossed and thoroughly coated with your marinade. You can either leave it in the bowl or you can place it in a baking dish like this so it's nice and snug. Place some plastic wrap on top to make sure everything is submerged and let it marinate overnight. You can use this day of, but the overnight marinade helps a lot. And while that's marinating overnight, you too can marinate overnight. We'll probably watching a little bit more of Last Chance You to keep up that stadium food inspiration. Now once grilling time comes around, you're gonna get some good old fashioned skewers. I would recommend getting metal ones, you know, the wooden ones are just too dang flimsy. You'll need three to four of them. Then just take your slices of meat and begin to stab on your skewers. I know this is gonna start a little awkward at first, all right? That's, that's okay. And rinse and repeat till you get a nice tall stacked log of meat. So essentially you're trying to recreate that sort of like spindle roast style meat that you usually see in El Pastor. Go ahead and get your grill set up for offset heating, meaning you want two thirds of it hot around medium high and one third of it completely off and cold. Once your grill is nice and hot, lightly brush your grates with oil. Go ahead and sear your El Pastor meat just to seal the edges. Two to three minutes per side, get a tiny bit of char, place it on the cold side of the grill, close your lid and play with the knob so that you land anywhere between 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and let that grill roast for about one and a half to two hours. And what else do you do when you're waiting on your meat? Go inside and watch TV? Ew. If you're into staying fit like these guys in Last Chance U, Samsung Health is built right Do here. it. Oh God. Run. Making sure to check it intermittently and flip occasionally until you get beautifully cooked and lightly charred al pastor meat. Take it off the grill, wrap it in foil, and let it rest for about 20 minutes. All you gotta do is stand your roast up and slice it lengthwise to get something resembling pretty close to al pastor meat. You can slice it thick, you can slice it thin, that's up to you. So you're ready to assemble tacos, right? Wrong. First, we're gonna make a nice little pineapple relish. Obviously, you're gonna need one whole pineapple. Cut the top off, then the bottom. Now you got two flat surfaces. Lay it with a cut side down and then carefully run your knife around the shape of the edge of the pineapple, slowly working all the way around the pineapple to skin it like so. Then cut it in half, cut those halves in half to get quarters, then lightly grease your grates, turn your grill to high heat. Once your grill is ripping hot, go ahead and toss in your pineapple quarters, one to two jalapenos, 
and one whole sweet onion that's been cut into rounds. Then just grill that until everything's nice and lightly charred. Cut everything into bite-sized pieces. I like to slice the jalapeno so it's nice and thin. Place it in a bowl along with a quarter cup of fresh chopped cilantro. The juice and the zest of two limes. Season that with salt generously. Mix that together until thoroughly combined. Now you can assemble your tacos. Heat up your corn tortillas. I like to make them so that they're just very lightly browned or charred. Add on your meat along with your grilled pineapple relish. Rather than lime wedges, I like to make little lime cheeks. You know why. Also, you can obviously add some avocado and cotija cheese if you wish to be a little extra bougie. But do you want to know what else wishes to be a little extra bougie? B-roll or bougie roll. Ha ha ha. Taco, al pastor, not super traditional, right? We paid our respect to the tradition, but we just took a little bit of a curve. We added a sort of a grilled pineapple relish salsa, something in between that. Tortilla, corn, should be corn in my opinion for this taco. Anyway. I did kind of a big bite. After not being able to go out, no restaurants, all my favorite taco places. I've been waiting in sadness. And now it's finally back in my mouth. This is all the flavors that you want in a taco. Charred meat, it's fatty, it's got some saltiness, some spicy, some sweet. There's a reason why Al Pastor is my favorite. Do I think it's perfectly traditional? No, but do I think it's a correct rendition at home that's doable? Yes. All right guys, and that is it. Thank you again to Samsung for partnering with us to make this dope mini series. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled for episode two and three coming very soon. Right, so we made Al Pastor. Now, would I say that this is the most traditional Al Pastor of all time? Uh, no, of course it's not. But it's extremely close flavor-wise, visually, you get that sort of like meaty unctuousness that you want from a beautiful Al Pastor. And you made it yourself. There's flexibility in the way you do it. Maybe you want like a little more charred. Maybe you like it a little more light. It's, it's all up to you, and that's the beauty of this recipe. It's the entryway to learning more about it. So as usual, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. My voice cracked. That's, that's always good. Thanks, Josh. Very cool.